What's up, you two? This is Bob for Trader Camera. Yes, tonight. I hope you guys have a nice week. You know, we know we have a lot of interesting things happening. <clears throat> we started the week, you know, completely flat. And then we were preparing for the big day, right, which was Thursday. And we had it. You know, we had crazy moves happening on Thursday. I know a lot of people, you know, made some bang. You know, they were, they were, it was pretty much life changing uh, place out there this week. So we got to be ready because, again, you know, every week, every day, there are different opportunities. And I know you guys, if you guys are prepared, if you guys study, if you guys make a plan, then you guys can catch those opportunities. All right. But again, you know, last week was crazy. Um, it's all about patience. It's all about timing. Right, I remember like the way to be profitable in this is timing. If you guys get the right answer at the right time, then that's how you guys are gonna make the most out of your money, and then you know you guys are gonna keep growing your accounts as far as you want, right? But again, we're gonna just gonna quick recap on what we had on Friday. You know, from Spy Tesla. You know, we have a, a nice things happening, and then a few hour swings and a couple of ones that I haven't watched next week. All right, so Spy. It was kind of funny because we had we had like a lot of we have like a decent move on Thursday, right? We have that big drop that we had on Thursday, right? Where a lot of people catch it up on the top. Since you can see, it was a struggling on that uh, resistance that we had the four thirteen point nineteen. It couldn't hold it up, and it, be, it just dropped the whole the way about to four ten, right? In and on Friday, you gotta notice how pretty much spy was, um, pretty much flat, and it was just ranging between the four ten and four twelves. Uh, I post this on several communities, uh, even on the Alpha community as well. I told you guys, you know, it's a range. You know, you guys need to, if you guys identify this, they, there is only when there is only one way to play the range until it breaks. So you simply you simply have to buy the bottom of the range, sell at the top, and then do the same thing. You know, buy some puts at the top, sell at the bottom. You have to do this, rinse and repeat the whole day until it breaks out, right? Sometimes it doesn't break out. Sometimes it just simply does the same thing the whole day, as you can see here on the chart, right? It did that the whole day. So, I mean, there were pretty opportunities. Like the whole day, you guys could have just like rinse and repeat this all day along, right? So it's all about, like I said, if you guys are able to understand this, understand this range, it's just easy money, you know, quick money. But anyways... We have a lot of things happening this week. I believe we have some other reports coming in. I believe we have tech reporting next week. So it's going to be another interesting week, right? Because we just had some banks reporting this week. But next week is going to be tech. I think it's Apple, Microsoft, you know, App, Amazon, Google. So it's going to be very interesting, right? But again, SPY, looking at what we have on bigger frames. I mean, it seems that we are still setting up for, we either setting up for a bounce or for a you know, huge drop. So I believe that the report of these big, you know, these big technology companies might be something to watch as well. We can see how on the daily spy it seems as currently now. You know, we can see Mac is already calling now. It hasn't crossed over yet, and you know the the buying pressure seems to be, you know, getting less weaker and weaker by the days pass. So that's something to note out. This is why it's always good to you know, zoom out and watch what's really happening, right? Even if you watch, right, it seems like we're having like a huge double top forming on the spy. So we might be ready, you know, we might be on, you know, the doors for a big drop. But again, we had to play this day by day and, you know, adapt to the market every single day, every single morning, right? As far as that, again, I'm just going to uh, give you a better insight on Sunday video so you stay tune with that as far as we have tesla tesla for example friday it's it performed similar to spy it was a little chop in the morning you know something like ranging a little bit but then around 12 noon it started a little bit a small a small uptrend so if you were able to ride at 20 may then you can have made a small you know decent amount of money tesla's been beaten down since earnings as you can see and as we talked about before since Tesla broke the 170 support and he touched 160, he obviously needs to consolidate a little bit before make another move. So far, it seems that he's holding up this 160 area. And now in Friday, close to 165. Since I told you, you know, that's what we call the dead can bounce. It's gonna, it, it was gonna bounce from this big drop, right? Now, we don't know how far this bounce is gonna go. 
But if my best guess is that we possibly can keep bouncing again to catch the 20 may around 170. And if you know if, if I am correct, then we probably can have that rejection from the 20 may and they had a, another big drop, right? And you, you gotta think about it. it, might be continuous, but it might be you know setting up at the same week that we have the tech, you know, the tech reporting. Again, do not forget that we do have that gap down, you know, that 155 to 145 gap on the daily chart, all right, which is over here. But also you have to know that, that we do have now a gap to the upside, right? Which is pretty much, I believe it's from the 170s to almost the 180s. So we don't know, now we don't know now, 177s, we do not know which way it's gonna go. You know, maybe it maybe can fill the gap up, right? Before drop again and fill the gap down, or maybe can keep going down and then fill the gap down and then bounce again or fill the gap to the upside. You don't know now, right? The best thing that we can do is just observe, you know, the price action, observe the news, observe how the market is performing. And, and that way we can make our best, you know, assumption and our in follow up just price action, right? But other than that, like I said, Tesla is still going to keep produce, like presenting those opportunities this week as a lot of stocks on the market. So just be ready, you know, make some study, you check your charts and set up your levels. All right, guys. As far as what was we have, you know, we do have Apple. Apple, I remember somebody making a, a funny comment that Apple and Tesla it's now pretty much trading at the same prices, which is pretty much is kind of funny because they do, you know, Tesla's 165, Apple 165. Well, no, you know. But what I can tell you is that Apple is very strong. You know, Apple is being completely making a huge uptrend by, you know, for a while now. You know, you can see we were around, well, we're 120s on January, and four months later, we are again at 168, right? If you go check your weekly chart, it seems that we are, uh, we're making our way again to that 170 area, right? To 180, to 175. So we don't know, but it's like I said, now we have next week, you know, this, I'm not sure when Apple reports, I have to look it up, but that might be the catalyst for Apple either, you know, spike up and hit those previous highs or even make a new highs or, you know, just, you know, drop down and then start retesting new levels and then probably, like I said, start a new downtrend. So we have to be ready for that drop as well or for that spike. All right. As far as swings, um, GTR, which I gave it to you guys last week as well, it performed pretty nice. We since the thirty cents, it already spiked up on Thursday, and then Friday, it continued the you know the new down uptrend, the spike up again to sixty nine fifty nine fifty eight cents, which is pretty nice. I mean the uptrend is is healthy. You look at your chart, your bigger you know four hour one hour, it's still respecting the four the twenty may and the sixty may so far. So as long as the downtrend. So it sounds like the trend doesn't break. I want to keep, still going to keep this on watch. Again, I do like the daily, you know, it has plenty of room. If you actually, you know, catch us, catch up some more volume, some more momentum. So again, I'm just going to keep this in watch. Now, so you guys do the same. Again, I'm not, this, you know, anything that I discuss here is not financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to buy or sell anything. This is just my old opinions and my thoughts. So you guys, please go make your DD in these companies because again, it had, I mean, it's just there are opportunities that are there, but we need to understand why are we talking about these stocks and why are we watching these stocks, right? Another one that I, I want to watch on probably on Monday is going to be SSFR since on Friday it made a huge move in after hour, pretty much before the closing bell to the after hour. You know, it was a pretty much a 60 cents that went up to 2.32. I mean, that was almost 200% in about 10 minutes, right? Which is insane. I mean, this is where a lot of penny stocks, right? They're very, they're really, they're really rewarding if you catch them, you know, on those levels, and then you hold them, and then you catch those runs, and you're gonna get up a lot, right? But again, this is, at the same time they close a lot of risk, so we need to learn how to manage our risk and have our stop losses in place, right? But I want to keep this on watch again. This is a SPAC, SPAs, you know, SPACs are those companies that they tend to merge with another companies or get acquired from another companies. So you can see the how, how do I know this? Because you can see how they stay flat on the same price for a long period of time, which is 
And then once they start having those boats, then you can see some more volatility. Seems that this spike got beat down to almost 30 cents and then now it start picking up some volume again. So I'm gonna keep it on watch because you know get the 200 means at 4.60 coordinates at two dollars. So sometimes the 200 EMA acts as a magnet, right? So we'll see. I'm gonna keep this in watch on, on for Monday and another swing. Well, OCL. Yeah. I mean, I'll just keep accumulating on this baby. It's um you can see how the bottom bars on the daily still still look as strong. We close at seven dollars, seven point twelve, and it's good. Maybe we'll see how it does on Monday. But I believe that again it has a lot more to offer. So we'll keep it on watch. And the last one I'm gonna talk about before you know we end this video is gonna be ASST. Another one that I like because it spike from almost you know one dollar to two dollars ten or hundred percent move on Friday. ID got it started on this stock. I'm gonna keep it on watch because this is an IPO that is being getting is being being betting now. You know, they are APO almost at seven dollar, currently trading at one dollar. So I believe the risk reward is here. So this is gonna be a nice swing. And I notice a lot of IPOs are they're, they're exploding, they're spiking a lot, right? So I'm just putting this on your on your watch list, go up, make some need, but are probably gonna, you know, start accumulating more during the, the week because I believe this might have another explosion building up, right? I guess other than that. Hope you guys like the recaps and everything. And, and yeah, if you have any questions on dial to add me the me, you know, send me them a, a message. I'm gonna do my best to reach out to you guys. And again, if you guys like the, you know these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We have more to come, more stocks to you know discuss, more ideas, and a lot of more things to prepare for you guys. Okay, guys. All right. So they as well check the link in the description for if you guys want to join the community, where that's where I share my trades 24/7 and my guidance as well. But yeah, maybe that, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for my watch list on Sunday and preparation for Monday. Okay, guys, take care, guys. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Juan for trading coming at you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right. I'll see you guys.